Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install my device mod for Minecraft 1.11. So about two weeks ago I released the device mod early for you guys and I had a lot of comments in that video saying how do I actually install it so I thought it would be a good idea to just do an installation for all you guys that are kind of confused because you've probably, you probably want this mod and you don't know how to install it so I'm going to be showing how to install it today. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up Minecraft, so you should be quite familiar with this launcher here. Then what we need to do is run Minecraft 1.11 at least once. Now if you've already run it, uh, you can kind of skip this step, but if you've never run Minecraft 1.11, you'll have to do that. So I'm just going to edit this profile here and then change the release here to release 1.11. Save profile, and it looks like I've already... Um, run it once but I'm just going to do it just for this video so it's loading and then it should be in the main screen in the second tier and there we go we've run Minecraft 1.11 once so now that we've done that what we're going to do is go to Google here then we're just going to type in forge go to Minecraft forge website go to 1.11 here and it looks like it's actually got this up by default when you first load Forge. Now you want to come down here over to download recommended. Um, there's a reason why it's recommended is because it's the one with the least amount of bugs. If you're going for the latest, um, it's going to have new up-to-date fixes, but it's not going to be as stable as the recommended here. So go to recommended, then we're going to go ahead and click on installer. It's going to go through this ad focus. Just wait for the five seconds at the top here then click skip and you'll see down in the left here that it is saying um, if you're using Chrome it will come up with this kind of warning saying that a jar file uh, can potentially harm your computer now just as a quick lesson uh, make sure you're careful about any files you do download um, this one in particular is safe because it comes from Forge it's an open source project and the developers are very well known um, if they did do that kind of, if they did something put malicious code in it they would pretty much be held up against the wall straight away um, and it is illegal as well to kind of mess with somebody's computer so just be careful where you're downloading files from but forge is completely all right so we're just going to click on it and it's going to open up now it's going to come up with this window here called mod system installer and obviously we want to install the client here this is if you're creating a server and this extraction is just if you want to see the files actually inside um, we don't really want to do that. Now you might notice that we've got something here ticked and it's something called I think Mercurius and basically as it says there a mod that cl collects statistics about Minecraft in your system useful for Forge to understand how Minecraft and Forge are used. Now this is optional I'm actually going to turn that off there you can do it as well unless you want to help Forge out with developing or keeping Forge even more stable uh, maybe you want to send your data to them. It's obviously anonymous as well so don't worry about that if you do want to keep it on but I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to press OK here. It's going to install Forge. If we just quickly open the Minecraft launcher back up and then we go to, um, well we actually have to edit our profile here. So edit a profile then go to use version and then you want to scroll down. I think it's they're usually at the bottom here um, but find release 1.11-forge so it should look something like that click on there P press save profile now we're not actually going to launch up the game yet what we're going to do is actually install my mod so let's go back and I'll put a link in the description for my website if you don't know what it is already but it's mrcrayfish.com once you've gone to that click on mods here Mr. Crayfish's device mod which is the first one in the list scroll down to the downloads at the bottom here and you'll see 1.11 you want to click on that and it's going to start downloading the mod now it's just going to go through a quick ad fly because I do earn a little teeny bit of money off each download not not a lot um, but it does support me and keeps me um, updating this mod to the latest versions of Minecraft so if you do have ad block I would um, find it helpful if you turned it off just for this section and it just helps me out a little bit 
then we'll come back to a downloaded page here and it's going to start downloading the mod again another warning uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not someone that's going to be messing with your computers at all um, my source code is available on github if you want to see what is going on there um, there's definitely nothing I'm definitely not going to be doing anything to your computers because it's illegal and I don't want to be doing that uh, we're actually going to um, drag that file onto the desktop here just temporarily then we're going to open an explorer window here and what you want to do is type at the top here percentage app data percentage then find a folder called dot minecraft double click on that go to mods then inside of here we're going to create a new folder called 1.11 open that up and then we're going to drag that the mod into this folder here minimize that and then let's go ahead and let's start up the game here remembering that uh, we'll just look down here first it says ready to play minecraft 1.11 dash forge so yep it's going to be running forge 1.11 and it should load up the mod so it's now launching forge and as you can see it's got um, this kind of stuff loading here and also this kind of anvil down there look like it's constructing setting up the client which is pretty cool and we'll double check that it's installed by going to mods here and you'll see in the list we have Mr. Crayfish's device mod so that means it's loaded up and let's go ahead and let's create a new world here and I think because I'm recording uh, it doesn't really like it's a bit laggy when I'm recording with OBS uh, but let's go ahead put that back and then I think, okay, there it is. So if you go into your creative tab, um, device mod, you should have the laptop in here. Now, obviously, this mod is still in development, so uh, please be aware that it, you might not want to be using it in your main world just in case it corrupts it. This is just kind of if you want to play around with it. Uh, but let's pop down the laptop. Uh, we can open it up. And there you go. We've got the laptop open here now. We've got our screen here. We can start using all the applications. But that's it, that's how you install my device mod. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, make sure you go ahead, hit that like button, or should I say snap that like button. That's kind of what I say instead of like. Uh, and also subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my videos. Uh, press that post notification button if you want to be, if you want to definitely be notified when my new uploads go up. But that's it, I'll see you guys later. Bye.